I have some news. There will be a magical talent show here at our school tomorrow afternoon. And I expect that you girls will have no problem competing for the top prize. Hooray! This is great! I'm so excited! I wonder where the final round of the contest will take place. When I get there, I'll send you a postcard. Maybe you should try winning before making victory plans. For this competition, we're all rivals. So if any of you forget a spell, don't expect for me to help you. Good thing I don't need your help. Girls, last night I heard a song in my dream. Let's sing together. Ah, every, every princess, princess for, for herself. herself. It's my one-of-a-kind acrobatic talent. Come on, step right up. You'll be amazed. I plan to utilize my studies and knowledge. I will answer any question from the Encyclopedia of Magic. Well then, why don't we begin training? I will impress everyone with my new dress. Come along, magical needles. Go to work. Mirror, mirror, full of light. Bring my copies to light. Yay, it worked. Now we can sing my song. What? Did they forget who the true talent of Wondermont is? Here's a gift from me. With this, all magic within your school will cease to work properly. <laughs> and then I alone will take the stage. Baba Yaga on a broom. What beautiful music. It must be Helen. <gasps> What's that? Someone crying? Is Owl stuck in a trumpet? I'm sure Helen is merely tuning her instruments. <laughs> Don't be alarmed, Professor. They are rehearsing. No, 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 no. That's enough! Stop! <laughs> Don't you like the author? Um, it was more like a small disagreement. That wasn't the deal. Not to worry. It's under control. Stop it! I told you to stop! Someone help me! In the beginning of the magical chapter, we attempted levitation using only one's mental capabilities. Help me! Over here! What's happening? Girls, what's going on? Something is happening to my spells. Mine as well. Same here. It seems that none of us are doing well. And I said, every princess for herself. We all did. Yes, and now our magic won't work. Hmm, what do we do? Even my tiara has run away. Tiara, please come back to me. Here you go, Lisa. <gasps> Girls, I have an idea. Let's perform without our magic. We could work together. The Ball Act. What? They found a way? Thank you, girls. What color hood does Little Red Riding Hood wear? Enough! It's my turn. A trick question. Now that dark blue is in fashion, the girl known as Little Red Riding Hood only wears blue hoods. Hey, don't forget me! The most talented act in all of Wondermont! Go, Broom! I said go on! Come on! What is the matter with you? <laughs> Giddy up, partner! What was that? Uh, it was an odd comedy routine with a horse. You may carry on, girls. Thanks for helping me. Oh, I 
was the one who turned off the magic in the school. And my magic, too. For adventure and freedom you long. I could read until the coming of the bright dawn. What we want is all so different, it seems. Together we can do it all So take my hand and step into the light Right now our dreams are taking flight As long as you are by my side I know the magic won't ever die Step into the light Right now our dreams are taking flight This is the first time I haven't seen any magic used in this contest. I know the magic won't ever die. You've impressed us with the most important magic, the magic of friendship. And so all the princesses will go to the final round. <laughs> A golden chest. I'm gonna get it this time. Watch! You almost did it. El Guerrero never would have missed the target. You should see all the cool things he does with boomerangs. I doubt he's missed a target before. Throwing with two hands at once, a hundred a minute. In other words, he has wicked talent. I don't have talent. Nor do I. Everything Belle the artist draws comes to life, even elephants and dragons. And here I can't even get a bird right. See, fly, go on, little bird. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Huh? <coughs> Either of you guys see a protection field? Mm, no. So the potion didn't work. Again, another flask ruined. I wish I could nail these on the first attempt, like Silverstina Bubble Pots does. The first attempt? There's no way our favorite wizards had it that easy way back when they were our age. I wonder if there's some kind of secret to their talent. Hmm. I found it! See here. There's an interview with Guerrero, which says only that the secret to his talent is in... his golden chest? I don't believe it! Belliata's secret is also in a chest! Silvestina has a chest too! The book doesn't tell you what's in the chest, only that they're in a museum in the Wonder Mountains. But that's clear across Wondermont! <sighs> yeah, I'd forgotten how far that is. Two days on foot! It'd take two days on foot, but on a dragon, just one afternoon! Thank you so much for agreeing to take us, Miss Dragon! If you want a famous wizard's talent, I'm guessing you gotta... just go sit on their golden chest uh, for a couple days. And to get really talented, a couple of weeks. No, I don't think it's about sitting on the chest or anything. I think you just have to take whatever's stored in it. I'll find out what's in Silvestina's chest and I'll brew the most powerful protective potion ever! What's this I hear? A chest with Silvestina's talent? Hmm, with her talent I could mix up a potion to bewitch the whole of Wondermont, including the school principal! <laughs> Look! We're here! I think I'm more talented already. I think the chests we need are inside. Anybody here? We're here to look at the chests. That's weird. There's not even an echo. Maybe they've gone to lunch? <gasps> so many chests! We'd better hurry if we want to find the ones we need before dark. This one was Firewing the 39th! Oh, look! The Invisible Princess! The Fluttering Master! Oh, wow! The Sun Knight's chest! Every famous wizard had a golden chest. That's so cool! Why weren't we given one? Maybe you get one when you graduate. I doubt it. The Sun Knight didn't even go to school, did he? He went straight out questing. <laughs> El Guerrero's chest! El the Artist's chest! Silvestina's chest! Oh, <gasps> Baba Yaga! Hi there! <laughs> Banana fling! Huh? How's that bear getting 
here. I'm not messing with that. So long. Returning potion. <laughs> Looks like they're all back in their places. Every huh? single one. Thank you for saving our exhibit. I'm the Echo of the Wonder Mountains, and I'm also the guide at this museum. Now tell me which talented wizard is such a good shot with a boomerang? I'm Vasco, but I'm not talented at all. That was just a banana fling throw. That's how I used to knock bananas off the trees back home. <laughs> hmm. And the young creator of living pictures? Oh, I'm Helen. But that wasn't talent. No matter what animal I draw, a living bear is all I can do. <laughs> and the brave potions, master? Daria, ma'am. I'm not anywhere near being a real master, though. Returning potions are all I can manage. I fail at everything else. Did you know that even the most famous wizards in history got a lot of things wrong when they first started out? <sighs> but they practiced again and again. And each of them put all their unsuccessful attempts in a chest. And then one day, when the chests were full... They turned gold, didn't they? So, the chests won't make us more talented? Theirs won't, no. However, your own chest will help you very much indeed. <gasps> a chest! Practice, practice. Put your unsuccessful attempts in your chest. And one glorious day, your chest will turn gold. Because those who work hard... I'm gonna try again. And don't give up. We'll get there in the end. The Genie. Come on, she's getting away. <laughs> ah! This is your last hour. Defend your land! Ooh! <laughs> Beware of evil wizard Rumi! She can destroy us! That is only if she's done running! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <gasps> oh no, that's the immortal's favorite face! Uh, do you think he's going to notice? Oh great! We should not have come in here! We know we aren't allowed to play in his office! Oh dear! He's not going to be happy when he sees this! No more Grunwald's Gardens field trip. He won't see it. I'll do a quick repairing spell. Earth, water, fire, air. They have the power to repair. You oh, did yay. it. Oh, well done, Rooney. That was great. <gasps> Who could that be? How <gasps> cute. It's a genie. Do you think he grants wishes? Mm-hmm. I call dibs on Genie. Listen, I'll wish first. I wish for, uh, no. I wish for that, uh, what kind of wish should I wish for? Hold on, Rooney. There are different kinds of genies. <gasps> oh, no. I think he found something in there and ate it. <sighs> oh, that's not good. Who cares? A genie that little could be a big problem. But we don't know if he could become one. Lisa, let's go to the library and find out how to put that genie back in the vase. You three, find the genie and distract him. And don't tell the immortal. <gasps> he ate my candy! My gingerbread as well. Well, yes, he probably hasn't eaten for a thousand years. Here, little genie. Have some unpredictable cupcakes. And dried plumberries. Genie's no big deal. <laughs> oh, where'd he go? Hmm, he probably went somewhere else to eat. <gasps> the kitchen! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, our little problem's not so little now. Girls, maybe we should tell the immortal everything before it gets worse. And before the consequences get bigger. <laughs> Here's a consequence for you. There won't be anything left for lunch if the genie finishes off all our soup. Lure him to the greenhouse. It's full of apples. Doma, can you conjure up a delicious red herring? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah! Those apples will last him a while. Uh-oh. Our little problem's gotten so much larger. <laughs> Want an apple? I've got one here. The drawer is still locked. Do you have the key on you? Shame on you, Archie. Nobody but you could have taken the cookies. So why did you do it? They were his favorite. They had coconut flakes, for the record. It wasn't Archie! The genie ate them! We were accidentally playing in your office and then we accidentally released the genie and then we didn't want to tell you because he was so cute! Okay, reverse spell, stop! Uh There's a genie? The genie from my vase? He'll gobble up our entire stockpile. Okay, Lisa, ready. Pudding, buns, cake! Hey, we figured it out! It's a glutton genie! He's really hungry because he's been hibernating for a thousand years, and he won't go back to sleep until he's eaten all his favorite treats. Lisa, have the tablecloth make some hot cocoa. Mr. Immortal, is this really the right time for hot cocoa? It's not mine. It's to give to the genie. That's always been his favorite. He'll take a sip and go right off to sleep. Mug of hot cocoa! Hmm. <sighs> now, back to your home. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Shh! Don't wake him up. We're sorry, Mr. Immortal. The more we hoped the little genie would just keep being small, the bigger that he got. Oh, and it ate our lunch and our dinner. And Archie got in trouble for nothing. The whole harvest disappeared. That's how problems are. The more you try to hide them, the bigger and bigger they get. Like a gluttonous genie. So when a problem happens like this, you should come and tell us right away. Yes, then we can work together to fix whatever it is. Mr. Immortal, I guess you don't want to take us on the field trip to Grunwald's Gardens anymore. After all this... Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> if I didn't, where else would we go to get seeds to replace our harvest? Yay! Wish granted! And we didn't need a genie. <laughs> <laughs> the Wondermont Boomerang A move the Rooney double flying rainbow move. One, two, hey, hey, hey. one, two, three, four. Huh. Did you see that? He did four full twists. Exactly, it helps you throw the boomerang harder. The El Dorado leap with a surprise. It's the best way to attack dragons, you know. Dragons? Of course. But you won't get kindness from dragons. Once a dragon attacked my home in El Dorado, we shot arrows at it and threw spears, and the thing still got back up. Then the great El Guerrero, our most superheroic superhero, put a spell on his shield. He flew up into the sky on it, and then just like hurled a boomerang. We know about El Guerrero in the Seven Kingdoms. We study his biography in high school. Someday, I'll perform the same kind of feat. If a dragon shows up, I mean. I think you could have just used an ordinary spell for flying lizards. But it's impressive, that's for sure. No one here can do that. Oh, oh yes, they can. I can do a better, even higher jump. Where do you see the trick I can do? Uh, want a bet? Or is our El Guerrero too scared? Me? Scared, you say? Eldoradans don't know how to be scared. Keep it up! You're doing great! <laughs> Do one more round! <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> hmm, look at that leap, like a grasshopper. But I will be the best. Will you help me? Go find out everything. Why he jumps so well, how he lands, what secrets he has. Everything. Got it? Bosco, step on it! That's already 2.5 dragon speed! Oh. Hmm. <gasps> Flight enhancer, of course! With this, it's easy to fly like a superhero! Where did the bottle go? It was right here. Well, Mr. Champion, you ready? <laughs> I can't wait to show everyone who the best jumper is. Fine, but I am not going to hold back. <laughs> I'm sorry, but me neither. Just remember, winning isn't everything. Of course it is. Victory is everything, especially mine. We're all ready. Then let's go. <laughs> Don't go against traffic. You must follow the traffic rules. <sighs> well, Professor, isn't it just wonderful to ride through the placid sky with a nice cup of hot tea? Yes. We don't often have days like this at Wondermont, when everything is so quiet and peaceful. Ah! Ah! Rooney, give me your hand! And our pupils today are so calm. Smile, smile. And well-behaved. They're growing up, you know. Oh, there's my bottle. Hey, you didn't use it on your disc, did you? So it's fine for you, but not the rest of us. I have every right to enhance my flight, too. <laughs> it really worked out for you, huh? This stuff is for the boomerang, so it flies further and comes back quicker. You see? Your disc is coming back now. Ooh, woo -hoo! Have some decency! I guess you... saved me. Now I owe you. <laughs> In that case... Why don't you teach me how to do those spins you do? Like the ballerina and the cat's twist. Me? Teach you? Okay, and you can teach me your El Dorado leap with a surprise. No problem. That was amazing, that was Rooney. So cool. Well done, Vasco. What a feat. I couldn't have done it better myself. Your attention, please. Rooney and Vasco present our awesome joint flying disc show. Bravo! It's a real show. So, what do you call your incredible maneuver? Uh, the Wondermont... Boomerang! That's a great title. I'm sure this maneuver is worth including in the Magical Aerial Acrobatics textbooks. <laughs> <laughs> Magic Paint Box. No way! We're not sprucing up our dome with any of this! What about me? Don't you think I would look cool in your dormitory? <gasps> Helen, you're the best at spells today. <laughs> we're all doing so well. It won't be long before we're great wizards. <laughs> great wizards, you say? I'm shocked by your insolence. Soon we'll even be able to defeat Baba Yaga. Oh! Now that's a bit too much. You clearly need taking down a peg or two. <gasps> that painting! I saw it move. Hachi, you frightened us. <laughs> you can move in and out of paintings? Awesome! Hello. I know the perfect 
a way to spruce up our dorm. I will paint the picture of us to hang on the wall of our room. Hmm, that's not such a bad idea. My own painting collection. <laughs> Take some blank canvases and bring them to our dorm. There are some paints here as well. Shall we? Yes. I've almost run out of red in my set. Whoa. Paint faster. I told you to hold the ball in your hands. Goalkeepers only touch the ball with their hands. I'm a forward. Oh, you can lower your foot now. Hooray! Huh? Where did Rooney's ball go? I finished painting it, and then it disappeared. How strange. <gasps> uh, what was that? Once I finish painting something, then it disappears and floats into the canvas. These paints are enchanted. Enchanted? By who? This person. Stop it! Don't finish it! <laughs> take that, Baba Yaga! Let's take the painting to Mr. Immortal. We'll get magic credit for it. What's that? What is she doing? <gasps> Take me to Mr. Immortal? <gasps> I don't think so. Why did you try to trap us in a painting? To make you stop thinking that soon you'll be better wizards than me. You have no idea who you're competing with. You're really good at drawing. But to finish the portrait, you still need to make a few more brush strokes. And I know how to fix this. I've got an extra brush right here. <gasps> I'll take you home and then hang you up on my wall so you can observe a truly great wizard at work. <laughs> How can we get out of here? We're stuck! We need a magic cloth. It's not working. Here, let me rub hard. It won't work, you know. Rub all you want. You're not going anywhere. My cloth was magical, and yours is some ordinary junk. <laughs> Time to take you to your new home. We need another way out. If only we could move in and out of paintings like Archie. Theoretically, I think we can. Since we're in here, then we should all be able to move from one painting to another. That's right. What? You ran away? Come back. Come back here right now. Where did you go? while still looking out for Baba Yaga. Archie, help us! We need the cloth on the dorm room floor to wash away these paintings of us. Archie, we need you. We'll explain later. We'll be okay now. So you prefer a landscape? No! Hideous! How dare you! Get out of that painting! I'm not hanging this on my wall! <gasps> all right, fine. You beat me this time. But just so you know, you're all still terrible wizards. <sighs> Thank you for saving us, Archie. Thank you, Archie. And thank you as well to the widely smiling Mr. Immortal. You helped us a lot, too. Now I think I know which painting we should hang in our dorm. <laughs> <laughs>
training day. Oh, there's nothing quite like a nice cup of tea after a long day at the chalkboard, wouldn't you say? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 dear. Much obliged, Mr. Immortal. A message has arrived for you. It looks important, too. Oh. Hmm. The president of the Wondermont administration has summoned us to a teacher training seminar. And it's tomorrow. Really? Teacher training? But I've been an exemplary educator for years. And you've been teaching since, uh... Forever. Exactly. So why do we need to go to a teacher training seminar? Why, it's all perfectly normal. There's no need to worry. No matter how long you've been doing a job, there's always more to learn. Marlene, go and tell the girls that we'll be leaving. We shall be on our way in the morning, bright and early tomorrow. No lessons tomorrow? Oh, no. Yes. Does that mean it's okay for me to stay in bed all day? No, Doma. It means we should spend the day outside where we can practice our magic. No, Rooney. You know the rules of the school. There's to be no magic while the teachers are away. Aww. Good night, girls. Sleep well. Good night, well. Mommy. Thanks. Dream. It's all right. It was just in your mind. You're safe now. You see? <laughs> oh, please help me. I'm falling into a big hole in the ground. <laughs> Rooney, stop it. That wasn't funny. It felt so real. I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dorma, but just look around. It's a perfect day. Nothing bad is going to happen. <laughs> oh, what's that? Girls, look! Check out the smoke over here. <gasps> it looks like my dream is coming true. We need to go and make sure everything's all right. Have a nice trip, my naive little friends, while I finish my bottomless pit. <laughs> What's that, sir, on your hands? Just there. It looks like an ink smudge. It must have come off the scroll. How strange. Exactly. Wondermont ink shouldn't do that. May I see it? Could this ribbon be a strip of fabric torn from a piece of clothing? Hmm, Baba Yaga. Coach, please take us all back home and fast. Girls, we've got to do something. I can stop her. No, no magic, remember? <gasps> How do we stop Baba Yaga without magic? I've got it. Baba Yaga! <laughs> That's enough! It's me, the Immortal! Stop what you're doing and run, or I'll make you disappear! <laughs> oh, your immortalness. I didn't expect you back so soon. Shh. I know it's just you girls. And I know the school rules. No magic while the teachers are away. <laughs> Looks like I win this time. Baba Yaga! What spell you're casting? <sighs> Are you sure you're doing it the right way? But of course. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I fear you made a small mistake. Just uh, look. What? It says right here. Stop talking. So sorry. You little pest. Let me help you. Go. Yes. Nice Go. catch. What is going on? Not good. We must find Baba Yaga. This way. Oh! Now I've had enough. We need our magic. The school is about to collapse. <gasps> Daria, we can't. 
can't use magic! We break the rules or lose our school. <laughs> hey! Stop that! You're messing up the spell! Whoa! Oh! No! My book! Oh! Oh, hot! Let me cool it down for you. Looks like you froze me out! And I'll be back! Wow, so cool! Well done, girls. You saved the school. <gasps> My voice! It's finally back! I'm sorry. We broke the rules of the school. Yes, which is more important than the school rules sometimes. So you won't punish us? <gasps> no. You are all brave wizards and deserve a real day off to enjoy yourselves. <laughs> yes! Hooray! Hooray! Songbird. What is that? It's beautiful. It's coming from the hall. Let's go. Wow, who is that? Don't you know? It's the songbird. That can't be. Who says that it can't? <laughs> because it very much can be. And it is. What do you think? Could it really be? Hmm, it is possible. This is amazing. Here you are, at our school. Yes, it is part of my charity tour for educational institutions. In fact, I'll sing for you right now. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, what's the rush? Perhaps later. But I love to sing. Why should I wait? Our apologies. The girls have classes. Oh, I see. The fine arts are not welcome here. I do hope our kind and gracious guest does not find us impolite and declining. Please, Professor. Mr. Immortal? Well, all right then. But after class. <laughs> Very well. After class. Hooray! Hooray! How wonderful! May I have your autograph? Could you sign what my techniques? To Girls, suggest please the stop. We don't want to overwhelm her. We must treat our guests with respect. It's time for breakfast, and then to our esteemed owl for magic home economics. In the meantime, I'll give our guest a tour of the school. As you can see, this hallway is decorated in the pseudo fairy tale style of the last hmm. hmm. Where's breakfast? And no coffee. Something is wrong. Owl would never forget our breakfast. What could have happened? Well, looks like class is cancelled. <gasps> Look, it's Owl's feather. We can use it to track where she went. <sighs> to your mistress be drawn. Show us where she's gone. Strange, why would Owl be in the museum? It looks like something was here. And there's writing below. This magic feather swiftly brings the likeness of the bird who sings. The songbird's feather was here. Then she was Owl in disguise. I think so. Owl is gone, the feather too, and in their place, the songbird. This is wrong. We have to tell the teachers about this. Wait, hold on. Maybe she just wants to sing. I think you're right. Don't be so cruel. Let her sing just once. <sighs> oh, fine. A concert is a concert. Let's give Owl the chance to be a star. Until then, pretend we don't know. We should pick more flowers. Yes, Owl will be so happy. <gasps> a feather. Hmm, strange. Why is it here? Shouldn't it be somewhere close to Owl? Girls, let's follow it. <gasps> Look, it's Owl. You're right. She's been captured by Baba Yaga. Oh, she scares me. Don't worry. She's not home right now. See? No room. Let's go. <gasps> Oh, girls, thank you so much. Tell us what happened. Oh, how do I begin to explain? You're aware of how sensitive the immortal is to magic on campus. So I decided that whenever I, well, 
transformed, I should do it away from the school. In the name of the fine art of song, I request your power. <gasps> what a pleasant surprise! <laughs> I was just flying by and thought I'd pay you a visit. Surprise! Wait, so the songbird is Baba Yaga, and she wants to... Really upset all of you. <laughs> I will sing a beautiful lullaby. The sort of lullaby they won't wake up from. And there won't be anyone to wake them up. <gasps> oh, dear. Let's go. We have to save the teachers. <laughs> Baba Yaga, stop! We know it's you! Marlene! <gasps> Professor! <sighs> Where is the immortal? <sighs> Good question. Where is he? Why isn't he here? What are you doing? Why aren't you sleeping? Sleeping magic has no effect on me. Now, if you don't mind... Let go of me! I got it! Huh? Uh, uh. Baba Yaga? Be gone from here at once! Uh. Ooh. I see you resolved the situation. She tried to cast a spell on us. A sleeping spell to take over. But Dorma saved the day. Well done, Dorma. When needed, you are not a sleeping princess. <laughs> <laughs> I have a surprise for you. The songbird. This time, it's the real one herself. Hmm. Yay! Awesome! I feel bad for Owl. Hmm. I'm very sorry, but I want to sing. Oh, do you like singing as well? <laughs> then might I interest you in a duet? Oh, hooray! Time out for Daria. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Does the green one suit me? You should stick to softer colors. Light blue, cream, they're very stylish and will look better on you. Please be quiet. It's impossible to concentrate. Oh, do you expect us to whisper now? Give me a break, Daria. You asked, so we're all trying to be quiet. Hey, girls, I had such a funny dream. <laughs> Please stop it, if you don't mind. Oh, no. What happened? Did I do this? <gasps> this must mean that I really do have powers! Hooray! Oh, okay, okay. Unfreeze. <gasps> Wake up now. Come back to life. Now move. What should I do? Oh, I've got to get help. You're back already. Daria, what is it? You seem worried. Are you all right? Oh, yes, you see. It's all because I've discovered a new power. You have? That's wonderful. Show me. Not yet. It's not that simple. The girls were making so much noise. Going back and forth, back and forth. So I told them to stop it. And they froze. Now I can't fix it. I don't know how. Wait a second. I didn't understand that. Back and forth where? Look. I would have made them more comfortable if I had known. How can we undo it? If you've the power to make it happen, you've the power to reverse it. Come with me. There's something I want to tell you. But we can't just leave them. The girls are going to be just fine. But you need to calm yourself down. Just hold on a little longer. I'll be back soon. Professor, don't you find it a bit strange that it's so quiet? Hmm. The girls are studying, no need to worry. Although, I do agree, it is a little odd. Oh, it seems you were spot on, Mr. Immortal. <laughs> I know, they're playing a joke on us. It's not a joke, Professor. And I don't see Daria. Where is she? Daria? Hmm, Daria may be in danger. We need to find her immediately. Of course, sir. But shouldn't we free the girls first? We cannot interfere with magic whose nature we do not yet understand. Come with me, Professor. Sorry, girls. Be back soon. You're an excellent student and you work hard. But the magic you were born with hasn't revealed itself yet. And therefore, you're worried. Is it that obvious? 
It's all right. We all go through it. This might turn out to be a stroke of luck. Some unexpected stress has activated your power. So stress activates my power? But does that mean I can only use magic when I'm stressed? No, stress just helped activate your magic. Now it's up to you to learn how best to control it. Mr. Immortal, I think I know who's behind this. Hmm, do you think so? It's Baba Yaga. She froze the girls, and she stole Daria. Come on. And like you, I studied at a school of magic. And just like you, I didn't know what my magic was. Then, one day on a walk, I ran into a number of snakes. Oh, I'm afraid of snakes. Me too. I was terrified. And because of that, I shot up into the air. And that's how I learned I could fly. <laughs> Uh, wait, Mr. Immortal, look! Over there! Why, that's only Marlene. What's the concern? It's Baba Yaga disguised as Marlene. Our Marlene is on vacation. But how did you manage to get down? At first, I couldn't. I hovered about for a long time, but I calmed myself down, relaxed, and it worked. That is the secret. Hurry! Stop you. Professor! No. I've got you! Professor, what is wrong with you? You won't get away! <laughs> Daria, are you all right? I don't understand what's gotten into the professor! Pretend oh. to be one of our best! Teach us! Oh. Professor, I'll cut off her oh. oh. What are you doing? Stop! <gasps> Seriously? It activated again? Marlene said I needed to calm down. Activate! No, that's silly. <sighs> All right, stop! Really? It's so easy. That's all I had to do? Daria, you did it! Thank you, Marlene. I have to get to the girls. Uh, sorry, Professor, but you said Marlene was on vacation, yes? Yes, Marlene. Why are you here? I was missing the school so much, I decided to come back early. Our apologies, Marlene. We thought you were Baba Yaga. Why? Do I look like Baba Yaga? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, I'm back. All right, stop. <laughs> Girls, do you know what happened to you? We know everything. You froze us solid, or rather, immobilized us. Made us living statues, turned us to stone. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried you'd be mad. Of course not. We're proud of you. You're so cool. Marlene's the cool one. She can fly up the banister. Who? Who even knew? Daria. Um... Come on, don't be shy. Show us how you do it. Do you really want to see it? All right, but let's keep it our little secret. Spell swap. Why must every day start with getting up? It's so unfair. <laughs> I don't sound that way. Rooney, stop that right now. Enough of your impressions. According to my schedule, there is no time to have any fun today. Hey, sounds like Daria. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, quiet down. That's enough. An excellent idea from someone not in her seat. I'm sorry about that. Just trying to have a bit of fun. <laughs> well, I think you'll enjoy the lesson for today. It's also fun. We shall learn how to master a blending spell. With this magic, we will combine two of your powers into one unique spell. The results are fun and surprising. We will begin by forming pairs. There are five princesses, so one of you shall work with me. Mm, this is the worst. It's best to practice together where you won't be disturbed. <laughs> shall we go, partner? A, B, C, is that right? Ugh. Stupid book. Why ever did I steal it? <laughs> Be quiet. I didn't ask you. I stole it because I need it. It's the Wisdom Land spell book, after all. At least I think it is. I won't know until I read it. Their language is tricky. <gasps> That's right, her. She's from Wisdom Land. Now I don't need to learn the language. <laughs> together we two make, together we two blend. 
What's this? Oh my, delicious. Oh, how delicious! <gasps> oh, hooray! It's like they're <sighs> dancing. A dash of magic cast with a... You're doing it all wrong. A dash of magic cast with a friend? Mm-hmm. This was supposed to be fun. What? I said, a dash of magic cast with a friend. Together we make two, together we blend. We have to say it together. <sighs> Is that correct? Whoa. Rooney, you look just like me. What do you mean? You look just like me. <gasps> we switched bodies. But Doria, how do we switch back? Doria, I need your help. And this is not a request. <gasps> Wait! Come back! Doria! I'm coming, Rooney! Delicious. It's so fun blending our magic. Oh, Rooney! Why the hurry? Our spell's gone wrong. I switched bodies with Rooney. Then Baba Yaga appeared. And she took Rooney. Because she looks like me and I look like her, you see? You know? <laughs> <laughs> My, you sound just like Daria. Even more than this morning. I am Daria. <laughs> this is an amazing prank, even for you, Rooney. However, does it work? Ugh. Where's Marlene? Sorry, that trick won't work on Marlene. Why not? Because you pretended to be Daria already this morning. And Marlene as well. You're not Daria. No, I'm Rooney. Rooney, Rooney. Enough already. Stop. You're from Wisdom Land, aren't you? I got this book as a gift. I'm sure it has strong spells, but I need it translated. And you know how. Now read it to me. <laughs> I won't. And you can't make me. Oh, can't I? Hmm. Oh, it's stuck! What did you do now? It'll stay that way until you read it to me. <laughs> Stop! You'll damage the book! Hmm. All right, you don't want to help me? Then I'll make you help. A tickling spell will change your mind. <laughs> Yay! You came to save me! Why are you here? You made me waste a tickling spell on a perfectly good brew. Why do you need that book? <laughs> oh, you're laughing at me? Very well. Now it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> good job. After all, we're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Doria, thank you. What for? Because you came to my rescue. Thanks. Oh, it was nothing. Hang on. Wouldn't you rescue me? Of course I would. <laughs> hey, what sort of crazy spells were in that spooky book anyway? Actually, it's a joke book. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't help you. We didn't believe you. You had to face Baba Yaga alone. Oh, this lesson wasn't as fun as I thought. Could someone please switch us back? Hmm. Yes, of course. To reverse the spell, you must first reverse the words, like so. Now you try it. Make two we together. Together, blend we two. Oh. <laughs> Rooney, Daria, you've both mastered the spell at a very high level. As a reward for your teamwork, you both get... An A. Wait, it didn't work. Just look at me. I'm still Rooney. <gasps> <laughs> look at your faces. Rooney, we've had enough of your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> the Memento Box. Ladies, ta-da! Take a look at this. What is it? Is it some kind of loom? It's a time machine. <laughs> Not a bad guess, but no, let me show you. Thanks, Professor. Take a look at what I have here. This is my very own Memento Music Box. Oh, so beautiful! We made these when I was in school. It's a memento that reminds me of my dear friends. I'd love to make a box like that. It's the perfect school souvenir. Exactly. That is why we are working with this device. So you girls can make a memento box of your own. Yes, look. 
you arrange yourselves up here on the circle. Like so, dressed elegantly. And it would be nice if you all planned on doing something original. What do you girls think we should do to make this memorable? What if we jump in the air? We can line up by height. We can do that and jump. Maybe the main thing is to show our best amazing selves. Hmm. Our best amazing selves. an uncommon dandelion like this one, a milk flower, and some rainbow berries. The brighter your hair, the brighter the memory will be. Common dandelion, uncommon dandelion, milk flower. There we are. I think that should be about enough. And rainbow berries. Mm -hmm. Now let's turn my hair into rainbow stripes. Tomorrow, I'll wake up with rainbow hair. <gasps> what happened? Why did my hair turn green? What am I going to do? I'll ruin the memento. No more than one berry, and I threw two in there. The fruit of the hermit tree can help to reverse any side effects. Okay, don't touch anything. I see. The hermit tree will help fix this. I need to go there. Lisa, time to get up. Lisa. Oh, no. <gasps> Girls, look. I think Lisa's gone somewhere. It's a map. It looks like an enchanted thicket. Whatever she's up to, it looks like Lisa's in danger. I mustn't touch anything with my hands or my feet. I'm looking for a comb. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Excuse me. I'll be very careful. Thank you. Here it is. Yes, I know. I'm not allowed to touch anything in the Enchanted Gardens. I only need just one of your lovely combs. <laughs> Oh, dear. Can't you please make an exception for me? <gasps> now what do I do? My hair will be green forever. It's all my fault. The memento will be ruined. Girls, does anyone want some raspberries? Look how beautiful they are. Dorma, you can't touch anything here. Didn't you see the warning? When you are told not to touch anything, don't touch anything! Run! <laughs> Girls, wait a minute! I need to get a comb! No way, Lisa! You're not going back! By the way, why is your hair green? That's the point! I wanted rainbow-colored hair for the memento! It's supposed to be an amazing memory to be cherished! But my hair turned out not amazing! That's why I came to the forest to try and fix it! And we got scared and came to save you. Yes, and in the end, you saved us. Funny, isn't it? Yes, but I never got a chance to get a comb. Don't be upset, Lisa. We still have our friendship after all. Who wants a box anyway? Greeting cards are way better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, girls. I appreciate it. Don't worry. We'll figure out something for your hair, too. That's enough, Doria. Dorma, stay out of this. Doria knows what she's doing. Drink this. That should do the trick. But it might take some time to work. What if it just makes it worse? I could have green hair forever. Well then, I'll be green too. Yes! Sometimes I even dream that I have green hair. So I'll all be green. It'll be fun playing hide-and-seek in the bushes. <laughs> Very well then. Now let's go. Here come our princesses now. I'm sure that you've come up with something interesting. Apparently. At least Lisa certainly has. Well, are you ready? We did it! 
Mr. Immortal. How clever. What a bright idea. Whenever did you manage to make your hair so colorful? <laughs>